The next part in our video build is the Pico BLX flight controller. It weighs 2.74 grams. It didn't come with any instructions, so I'm gonna go with you over all the connections and wires. First of all, we have here, this is the micro USB connector to configure this flight controller. Over here, we have the buzz plus and the buzz minus to, for the connect the buzzer. On the bottom, we have the pads for the ESCs we have here and here. Now, I rather than with that these pa battery uh, uh, pads are reversed, which means here it's the, instead of being here the plus and here the minus, this is the minus and this is the plus. Before, uh, after I connect to the, to the power source, I will make sure with a multimeter that these connectors are true, otherwise they can burn your ESCs. So this is a very important issue to address. The boot pads are located here on the top. You will have to shortcut them in order to flash a new version to this board. The connectors for the VTX are connected here. This is the plus and this is the minus. So you connect it to your video transmitter. Over here, you have the pads for the S bus. If you want the board to work with S bus, you will have to short these two pads, which means you have to solder them. And if you want PPM, you will have to solder these two pads. The receiver is going to connect the piece, these three ports. The ground is going to be connected here, five volts, and here is the signal. We're going to connect our LiPo battery to these ports. The battery plus is going to be connected here and the battery minus port is going to be connected to this port. It supports between two cells to six cells LiPo batteries. On the bottom, we have a connector to a Spectrum satellite receiver. I will put a link to the guide of this uh, uh, board. It's gonna be pretty useful to you. 